All right, I realise nobody had told me to dress up, but it was like either this, a t-shirt or a onesie. So I thought I'd go for it and I better rattle through it before my hair gets like mega frizzy. And this shirt, trust me, does not fit as well as it did before lockdown. So let's get battled in about it. Hello and welcome everyone to the Ayrshire College graduation 2020. My name is Billy Kirkwood. You never heard of me? That's fair enough. Well, you can Google it if you want. I, I don't know. I appreciate a lot of you are looking at the screen right now going, oh my God, it's like someone bought Billy Connolly off Wish. I'm a stand-up comedian and a presenter and I'm so excited to be here tonight. I'm going to let you know exactly what's going to be happening. We've got a string of special people lined up to celebrate your success. So let's get the celebration started. First up, Willie Mackey, the chairman of the board of management, who will be looking back over the last year and reflecting on everyone's achievements. Willie is also going to be presenting a fellowship award. This is for someone who has made a massive contribution and supported the students of Ayrshire College over many years. You'll be hearing from the recipient of that. Then it's going to be over to Lauren Hibbertson, your student president, and she'll be telling you about her highlights of the last year. And after Lauren, Carol Turnbull, the principal, will be sending you her messages of congratulations. And the final speech will be from your head of department on behalf of all the lecturers, support staff you've met in your course. We then ask lecturers, employers, partners to send you their messages of congratulations on your big day. And we've even managed to get a few celebrities to join in in the celebration. So enjoy some photos from the last year and see if you can spot yourself in amongst that lot. Look out for your name at the end of the video as we recognise all the students from your department who have achieved their awards tonight. All I've got to say is, you know something, in these hard times and everything that's going on, it is just epic, mega, that you've managed to get the achievements. And this is just the start of your road on what is sure going to be an amazing career. Just bear that in mind. This is the beginning. This is the exciting bit. All right, have yourselves a great night and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I don't know how that looked, but it felt good. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, I'll go. I won't strip, I won't strip from camera, it's not babe station, what are we doing? Good evening and welcome to this very special graduation ceremony. This is a very different graduation ceremony for 2020 as we are sadly unable to meet in person due to the current social distancing requirements. These are truly exceptional times and I never imagined over my many years of involvement in the college sector that I would be opening our graduation in this way. To say the past six months have been challenging for us all would be an understatement. I do, however, want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to all our staff for the remarkable way you have responded to the impact of the pandemic. I have also been extremely proud how Ayrshire College staff have also stepped up to support our local communities through the crisis. The principal and her entire team have done an outstanding job to manage an incredibly complex and dynamic situation, whilst never taking their eye off our most important deliverable which is supporting our students. I would also like to thank all of our graduates today for your commitment to completing your course this year under these very difficult circumstances. You stepped up to learning online virtually overnight and took this in your stride. So a huge well done to you all. With this as a backdrop, it would have perhaps been an option to cancel the graduation this year. Ladies and gentlemen, that was never going to happen and I am therefore delighted we are still able to provide the opportunity for our students to celebrate their success and their hard work during a remarkable 12 months. Putting COVID aside for a moment, 2020 has been another excellent year for Ayrshire College. Once again, the college has fully delivered on its activity target for the year. Given all the distractions, that is an outstanding performance. Ayrshire College is also continuing to play a strategic role in the delivery of the Ayrshire Growth Deal, which will see UK and Scottish government funding in excess of £250 million delivered into the Ayrshire economy. 
Our principal and CEO, Carol Turnbull, continues to influence National College education policy through her role as chair of the College Principals Group in Scotland. Ayrshire College has been rightly recognised as one of the leaders in the sector in terms of our employer engagement and I would like to commend the fantastic work all our staff are doing to build and enhance these relationships. Businesses we engage with are hugely generous of their time and in many cases will freely donate their time and materials to help support our curriculum delivery. During 2020, we received a record number of applications to join the Board of Management, which resulted in three outstanding new board members being appointed. We are very fortunate to have such a diverse and fully engaged Board of Management, and I would like to thank our board members who freely give of their time to support our students. The Ayrshire College Foundation has continued to show a great appetite to support the college. And I would like to thank Chair Tracy Stark and the trustees for their ongoing support for the college. Our award-winning student association continues to go from strength to strength and they have responded magnificently to the challenges posed by the pandemic. Delivering the best possible student experience is our number one priority and I would like to congratulate Lauren Howison and Stephen Oliver who were elected president and vice president during the year. Collaboration is one of the founding principles of our strategy and I would like to acknowledge the great support we receive from the Scottish Funding Council, Education Scotland, Skills Development Scotland and the Scottish Government. Positive partnership working is critical to our success and I would like to thank the Provost, leaders and the Chief Executives of East Ayrshire, North Ayrshire and South Ayrshire Councils for their continued support. Ladies and gentlemen, the vision for Ayrshire College, raising aspirations, inspiring achievement and increasing opportunities for all communities in Ayrshire has been really tested over recent months. The college has responded magnificently to these challenges and it is absolutely right that we should continue to celebrate this vision by way of our graduation today. I would like to finish by congratulating the students on your success I hope you and your families are able to take time to recognise your achievements and I wish you every success in your future endeavours. Ladies and gentlemen, the highest award which is in the gift of the College is that of our Fellowship. 2019 saw the first fellowships awarded to Rose Riley and Chris Boyd in recognition of their exceptional careers and their special contributions and support to the students of Ayrshire College. It is my great pleasure to announce the award of the Ayrshire College Fellowship this year goes to Fiona Lees. Fiona Lees has been the Chief Executive Officer of East Ayrshire Council for the past 17 years. She first entered local government 42 years ago. During her remarkable career, she has not only led a transformation of East Ayrshire, but she has played an active role in influencing and developing a much wider economic development strategy for our region, culminating in the Ayrshire Growth Deal, which will see in excess of £250 million invested in the Ayrshire economy. I have had the pleasure of knowing and working with Fiona for the majority of her tenure as CEO of East Ayrshire. I can honestly say I have never met anyone so passionate and committed about delivering positive change to our local economy and our communities. Fiona also played a key role in supporting our ambition to create a new campus for Kilmarnock on the former Johnny Walker site, a campus that has transformed college education in East Ayrshire. There are countless other examples I could cite However, I would like to conclude by highlighting Fiona's remarkable appetite for proactive collaboration, whether that be across public sector agencies or public sector to private sector. Fiona would always find a way to make things happen. For her outstanding contribution to the communities of East Ayrshire, I'm delighted to present our Fellowship Award to Fiona Lees. I am absolutely thrilled to accept this Fellowship Award and I do so with great honour 
and humility. I'm quite overwhelmed and I have to say slightly starstruck to be joining the esteemed company of the redoubtable Rose Riley and the legend that is Chris Boyd, who both were awarded fellowships last year. I'm thrilled to be with you on your special night to mark your success and your achievements and to wish you well on the next stage of your journey. And that's caused me to stop and just to reflect on my journey. And I'd like to, to just tell you something about myself and some of the lessons I've learned. So when I was 16, I was told that uh, I wouldn't get my qualifications at school, I wouldn't do terribly well in exams, and um, I should really just leave school. But I decided to stay on and I went to college just like you have, and I got my diploma. And when I got my diploma, I also vowed to myself that I would never again allow someone to tell me what I could and couldn't do. So don't let yourself be defined by others. That's my first important message. The next message is, remember young people have a voice and make sure it's heard. When I started work when I was 21, when I graduated, I was so excited about starting my working life. And I can honestly say in all of my career, I never felt discriminated against because I'm a woman. But I did feel I wasn't taken seriously because I was young. And I do remember how that feels. So that's why I go out of my way to make sure I hear what young people have to say. Because you've got a different take. You've got a unique view. You come at old problems with new solutions. And when we look at the debate there's been about the SQA exams, about COVID and climate change, we hear young people's voices and we see young people leading change. And the final thing I want to say to you is, believe in your community. Ayrshire's undoubtedly got its challenges, but my goodness me, we've got fabulous opportunities. I came here 30 years ago to work and I've made this place my home and there is nowhere else I would rather be. In your chosen field, there are career pathways and we are working hard to secure investment and to support growth and you will be part of Ayrshire's success. So my very last word to you is thank you so much for this award. This is your night. Celebrate your achievements and make some noise. Have a good time. Hello graduates and everyone watching today. First of all, congratulations on your success. As your student president, it is an absolute privilege to be here with you all. I only wish it were in person at our usual graduation ceremony, but here we are and we're going to make the best of it. We are here to celebrate your achievements and so I'd like to spend a few minutes reflecting on some of the student highlights of 2019-20. It's certainly been a memorable year at the World Skills UK Live National Finals in Birmingham, two students proudly represented Ayrshire College. Blair Angus qualified for the 2019 Skill Electric UK Final, while Jade Thompson qualified for the second year running in the Beauty Therapy Hands and Face Skills category. Our makeup artistry students won three gold, three silver, and three bronze medals in the Scotland South Regional Heat of the Association of Hairdressers and Therapists annual competition. Level 6 professional cookery students Rebecca Crossan, Ewan Baird and Ryan Rafferty earned a bronze award at the prestigious Country Range Students Chef Challenge. Twin brothers Lewis and Ryan McGregor won the Vocational Award for Scotland at the 2020 British Education Awards for their exceptional dedication and coaching abilities. The sport and fitness students were also highly commended in the College Candidate of the Year Award at the SQA Star Awards while apprentice painter and decorator Kelly Kerr was named the first female recipient of the Air Guildry Apprentice of the Year Award. There were a number of exciting live briefs for our students to tackle, such as our HNC Art and Design tasked with creating an original design for Dumfries House and the Prince's Foundation that would be used on products sold at the Estates Visitor Centre. 
Louise Batten and Ailey Keating were the joint winners, while Kirsty Shaw and Cathy McDermott were highly commended by the judges. HND Visual Communications were challenged to design a Tam O'Shanter themed programme for the Hospitality Industries Trust Burn Supper, with Gary Anderson winning the competition. Our student-led mental health initiative, hashtag Passing Positivity, has went from strength to strength, with new free weekly football, dance and multi-sport groups made available to the Ayrshire public at our Kilmarnock campus. A college-wide charity single has also been produced for the hashtag Passing Positivity campaign, written by music student Leah Batty and recorded by former Britain's Got Talent winner, Jai McDowell. Around Christmas time, social science students at the Air and Kilmarnock campuses supported their local food banks, contributing the largest donation that the college has ever seen. While HND travel and tourism students raised over £1,200 for the Brittle Bones UK charity as they hosted the Christmas fair at the Air campus. Hospitality students raised over £2,000 for the Chris Boyd charity through donating their hard-earned tips and fundraising event at the Air Campus. One kind-hearted hospitality student in particular, Sophie Conway, raised over £400 at her Halloween-themed coffee morning. Other notable highlights throughout the past year include the Enterprising Student Fund, continuing to support students that are starting their own businesses, with £5,000 grants being awarded sport and fitness students facilitating the Ayrshire Sports Ability Festival of Sport delivering sport to over 500 pupils and uniformed services students spending a full week with the Territorial Army and Recon. There are many more examples I could give to demonstrate how brilliant our students have been during this challenging year but I'll leave it at that as I know you'll all be itching to start celebrating. Congratulations once again. It's now my pleasure to pass you over to the Principal Carol Turnbull. Chair, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen and graduates. This evening is a celebration, a celebration of our learners' success. As our Chair has said, it is a different type of celebration this year, but nevertheless, it is important that we acknowledge and celebrate your achievements. Last year, 13,400 people enrolled on Ayrshire College courses. That's 13,400 people, the majority of whom live and or work in Ayrshire, who engaged with the college at some point during the year to develop their skills and knowledge. Of these, approximately 6,200 enrolled in full-time college programmes. In terms of our higher national courses, which are equivalents to first and second year university degree study, over 1,800 successfully completed their programmes and it is these achievements we are celebrating today. Our students also play a vital role in the wider community through campaigns, fundraising, volunteering and participating in numerous community events and initiatives. Each year, students choose a number of charities to support and in 2019-20, a total of £5,080 was raised. I would particularly like to thank the Student Association for the work they do on behalf of all of our students and the contribution they make to the work of the board and that of the college. But this evening, it is your achievements we celebrate. As you embark on the next chapter, I hope you will look back fondly on your time at the college and I hope in some way you feel your life has changed as a result of being at college. For many, it's a step on the way to a chosen career. For others, a route to further study. And for some, it is part of a personal journey that for a variety of reasons may have been particularly difficult or challenging. I am constantly amazed by the stories of learners who have overcome significant challenges and difficulties during their time at college. But very often it's the support and encouragement of others that makes the difference. The support of family and friends is vital. And I would particularly like to thank all college staff for their support and encouragement throughout this year, particularly this year, 
very often going that extra mile to help their learners. Graduation days are highlights of our college year and always a favourite occasion for staff and board members of the college. It is an opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our students along with those of the wider college and to reflect on the exceptional talent we have in Ayrshire. Your talent, commitment and determination to succeed combined with the new skills and knowledge you have gained during your time at college are vital to the future prosperity and growth of Ayrshire, Scotland and beyond. This is a difficult time for you in terms of the economy and job opportunities may be limited at the moment. And yet never have your skills, knowledge, enthusiasm and determination been more important. You are the future of our economic prosperity, both in Ayrshire and beyond. And although it may seem a hugely challenging environment at present, please remember what you have to offer. It is enormous and will be vital to our recovery. We have some amazing talented students at Ayrshire College and this has been reflected in the many competitions and awards won during the year. And this is what we are here to celebrate today. As you leave us, remember what you have achieved. You know what you know and you also know what you don't know. So find others who will help you to continue to develop. You will never get every decision right, but that's okay. Aim to get about 50% right and you'll be doing fine. Don't be frightened of making mistakes, just make sure you learn from them. Believe in yourself, listen to others, be kind, have courage and work hard. So let's get this party underway and celebrate. It's always nice to share these special moments, so please tweet your pictures and messages using, using the hashtag AyrshireGrads. Many, many congratulations to all of you. And it is now my pleasure to hand over to your head of department to say a few words. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Business and Computing graduation. Well, the day you've all been waiting for has finally arrived, your graduation day. I would like to add my congratulations to you on this very exciting day. I could not be more proud of every one of you. This year, we have 151 students graduating from our department, and what a year it has been. To achieve this award in 2020, despite all the challenges you've faced during the coronavirus pandemic, makes it even more special. I want you to think about just how far you have come. Whether you've been with us for one, two or three years, we've achieved so much together. We've got to know you, we've encouraged you, inspired you, and given you some amazing opportunities to reach your full potential. In return, you have demonstrated a passion for your chosen career, a positive attitude, determination to succeed and great enthusiasm. You have gained new skills, developed your confidence and have been active citizens in your work to contribute to the wider community. Well done, you've made it. All the hard work and effort has been worthwhile. I would also now like to thank all my team who have worked incredibly hard every day to make sure you have had the best learning experience possible. And also to those staff across the college, including the LRC, Student Services, Student Funding, Inclusive Learning, Refectories and Coffee Shops and the Estate staff who have made sure you had all the support you needed to enjoy your time at college. As the Spanish theologian St Ignatius of Loyola once said, go forth and set the world on fire. I wish you good luck in all that you do and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening celebrating your success. Remember to share your party photos on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and use the hashtag AyrshireGrads. Before we announce this year's graduates, I'd like to take some time to give recognition to some special award winners. Student of the Year, Business, Computing, Travel and Tourism Events at the Air Campus, Leanne Steele, HND Business. Student of the Year, Business, Computing, Travel and Tourism Events, Kilmarnock Campus, Laurie Walker, HND Accounting. Student of the Year, Business, Computing, Travel and Tourism Events, Co-Winning Campus, Mark Hudson, HND Games Development. Making a difference in the community, Air Campus, Leslie O'Hara, HND Travel and Tourism. Outstanding Achievement, Co-Winning Campus, Alice Hatfield, HNC Computing with Cybersecurity. 
And now, sit back and enjoy some messages from the business and computing team and see if you can spot yourself in some of our memories from the past year. Hi, this is Tessie Shesu, Curriculum Manager for Business and IT in Kermano and Kawenin campuses. I wish to seize this moment to send you huge congratulations on your accomplishment. I'm proud of your resilience, determination and achievement. Proud again actually to see you at the very first ever virtual graduation ceremony which probably you will never forget in your life. I'm so keen actually to see what the future holds for you. And but for those of you who are staying with us, to have another wonderful learning experience with us. Again, congratulations on your accomplishments. Hi, computing graduates. I would just like to say on behalf of myself and all the computing lecturers, that's Morag, Karima, Shona, Anne Mitchell, Anne Boyle, Lynn, Lindsay, Gary, Barry, Dom, Gordon, Rashid, Derek and Vincent, congratulations on achieving your qualification, especially during this extra difficult year. So well done and good luck. Congratulations on your graduation. Um, wish you all the best in your future and have fun celebrating. position to have worked with you throughout your journey with us. This is something we never lose sight of, is because of your qualification, you now have a different outlook in life and aspire to a different path than you did before. This not only changes your life, but that of your friends and family as well, who actually may even become inspired by you and your accomplishments. At times it would have been very difficult for you to continue on your course because of the juggle that you have to do between college, work, life in general, uh, and perhaps your health. Not to mention the disruption that COVID-19 actually brought in your course too. Throughout all these challenges, we have been here to listen, to offer advice and to put a plan in place to support you as well. But most of all, to show that we believe in you. We always knew you could do this, even although you didn't at times, and we couldn't be prouder of you tonight. So a final congratulations from the accounting, admin, business, events and travel and tourism team at the Air Campus. I hope you enjoy the evening with your family and friends. Congratulations again. Hi, this is Colin Kelly from Comsteria. I just wanted to congratulate you all on your graduation. Um, that's a great achievement. You know, that's a year that you never signed up for, were never prepared for, the staff weren't prepared for, and somehow you've uh, you've risen to the challenge and you got the job done. So big congratulations uh, from me. And, uh, you know, that should really inspire you with confidence for whatever else uh, your career throws at you. Um, and, you know, whatever you go on to do, I think your, your digital footprint, your social media footprint really should be something that you feel pride in and it should become an asset that you take with you into whatever jobs and career or maybe working for yourself, whatever it is that you're going to do. Um, so take pride in it. Don't be scared to experiment. There's always new digital channels, you know, emerging. So have a go at them. And, uh, you know, whether it's gaming or podcasting or TikTok or whatever it is that you want to do, it's a really interesting opportunity. And it might not feel like it just now, but the rest of the working world is really looking at you to point the way and show them how it's done. So go for it, make it your own, and uh, well done, and the very best of luck. Hi, I'm Amy, and I work for a business called Booth Welsh. We are a global engineering business based in Ayrshire. We're also close partners of Ayrshire College. I want to come on to say a huge well done to each and every single one of you who have done amazingly during these times and have managed to graduate. I wish you all the best a lot for the future and I really hope that you celebrate well. Take care. Ayrshire College graduates, congratulations. My name is Sarah Murray and I am standing here at NASA's 
Johnson Space Center. I thought it appropriate to congratulate you from the spot that I landed when I graduated. And let me tell you, I have not one day ever regretted that decision. Now, perhaps you've got some decisions to make, or perhaps you've already made a decision. Will you be furthering your education? Will you be starting a new job in your new career? Whatever that decision is, this accomplishment was a great big step towards your goal. I want you to stay focused, persevere, and I wish you all the best. Hi there, this is for all the students graduating from AIR. I know that you're not getting the graduation that you wanted. I know that that's really crap. But you guys have worked so hard and so long. I hope you have the best graduation possible. It's Judy Godley here. You're probably saying, who's that woman? And why does she have a big spot in her cheek? It's because I'm very young and I'm a teenager. But I know how hard you've worked. I remember how when my daughter Ashley graduated, it was such, such a joyous experience and you guys aren't getting to get that. So I'm sending you all my love and all my solidarity. Frank, get the door. The Wayne's for Ayrshire have graduated. When this is over, you can party. Hello Ayrshire College, I hope you're all doing well. I believe today is a big day for all of you. It's graduation day. Massive congratulations and well done in all that you have achieved. My name is Frank Gormanley and I am the President of the Ayrshire Chamber of Commerce. I'm also alumni of the college. I graduated at the college several years ago in a completely different circumstances. And two things very quickly I want to say. One, regardless of the situation we find ourselves in, please celebrate today in a safe way. You've got to celebrate this massive achievement. So celebrate. The second thing is, I'd like to think this is the end of your learning journey and that you've adopted a kind of a lifelong learner approach. Always check in with how you can enhance your skills and become better. That doesn't just help you, it helps those around you. But back to graduation. Have a great day. Well done again. Here's to an awesome future for all of you. Hello, this is Steve Swanson, a former NASA astronaut and International Space Station Commander. And I'd just like to say congratulations to the new graduates at Ayrshire College. You should be very proud of this accomplishment. I'm sure you've worked hard and it's a great thing to have accomplished. And also I'd like to say good luck on the rest of your life and your endeavors. I hope they all go well. Take care. Bye bye. Hi everybody, it's Tom Urie. Uh, you might know me as the fat guy from Still Game, the fat guy from River City and the fat guy from Trainspotting 2. Uh, I just want to say congratulations on your graduation and please don't be too disheartened about not having a massive party because see when this is finished, you can go mental and have a 10 times bigger party and nobody can get you into trouble for it. So congratulations and good luck for the future and keep the heed. Hello everybody. Hello, Mark Cox here. Just wanted to congratulate everybody at Ayrshire College on their graduation this year for all the hard work you've done. A big shout out to the college for the passing positivity campaign about mental health. Very important this time. Certainly at this period now, what with the COVID and that. But uh, again, well done everybody. And congratulations. Look at that out of the back, that's no snow. See that in the ground? The ground. That's it's an old loaf I just flung out. So that, that's my morning. Uh, Congratulations everybody again, well done, and uh, no doubt you'll be out in a bit before long. All the best now, bye bye. Hi there, as an Ayrshire girl it gives me great pleasure to congratulate all of you on your graduation from Ayrshire College. Graduating at any time is a really impressive achievement, but it's particularly impressive in these really tough times, so well done to all of you. I'm sorry you're not getting the normal graduation celebration, but hopefully when all of uh, the COVID uh, shenanigans are over, uh, you'll be able to celebrate in style. But for now, enjoy your achievement. Well done and congratulations.